we're in a situation where we have put together and you guys did, did it for our administration, the President Obama's administration before this. So what would George Washington have done? Now, as you can hear, I am not American. I'm actually British. I'm also Israeli. I live in Israel with my American Israeli husband. But I am following very carefully what is happening in America. In fact, I've been following what's been happening with President Trump ever since 2016. We have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter frogs organization in the history of American politics. Isn't it ridiculous that I've had to edit out one of the words that was actually spoken because it is no longer acceptable on YouTube. Who would otherwise censor this video? Maybe they will anyway, because I have dared to show that infamous clip that really happened not long before the selection when the F word was used. And apparently, maybe admitted to perhaps a more senile moment. If you happen to be watching this and you're an American, as a non-American myself, I'm doing everything I can to try and support integrity in your choosing process and to right any wrongs that may have happened and to support openness. I would like to finish, if it's not too incongruous for a British person to be doing this by quoting from your own declaration of independence against my own country at the time in support of taxation with representation. Don't you think some of these words are rather apt today? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organising its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Thank you so much for listening. I think there are many of us around the world who do support you. But in the end, it is up to you Americans, as many of you as possible, to do all you can, legally, legitimately, to restore real freedom, to restore free and fair selections and to be able to say the real word openly without being censored to your republic. Thank you.